before filmmaker, before social media, I'm the biggest nerd and I love it. <laughs> can, we, can we go a little bit nerdy for let's the nerd out there? Let's do it. Like, um, that's because you filmed on a handy cam, the first one, yep. like, were you always upgrading or trying to get better cameras? Like, what's your philosophy around cameras? Yeah. Like, and all that at the moment because yeah so i b- bought that sony handycam i had to work for a clothing brand called insight mm-hmm. um, oh, i, know that I worked in their factory for like two school holidays to save up a thousand bucks to buy this handycam that's so good man and uh <laughs> i was i put in the i put in the works so i was like i'm not getting rid of this anytime soon like i want to milk it until i'm in a more financially better spot and also like a better creative spot to like do it like um and then i moved up to like a Canon EOS 600D or something Mm -hmm. and milked that for all it was worth. And then I finally, right at the time that I went over to Bali, got my 5D. Um, But yeah, I I honestly believe in um, storytelling. And if you have a story, it doesn't matter what it's shot on, people are going to connect. Yeah, that's good. Um, But yeah, that being said, once I had all of the filmmaking tools and creatively felt I was in the right place and had a bit more work coming in to have the, the money to be able to buy it. That's when I started investing and, and, and getting the gear. Um, I, uh, did a, did a project with Louie. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, from that day I met him, we're now quite close friends and I've been on plenty of trips with him all around the world. And I helped him film a campaign in Montana for their tourism board for free. I was just wanted to be there because it was fun. Yeah. And uh, he, as a thank you, he bought me a Sony a7S II oh. um, with a G Master lens. That's so nice. Yeah, it was, Thanks, it Louis. Was, I, was, I, was, I was in tears when he gave it to me. I was oh. like, this is outrageous. <laughs> so that was a really great platform to start. That was the first professional kind of film camera that I had. Mm-hmm. Um, and from there, I, the Sony a7S II is great for video and I love it. I love the video on it and the stabilization on it and the low light is just phenomenal. But for me, the photos on it really kind of are still lacking. Mm -hmm. So I was using my 5D3 for photos and a Sony for video. And it just seemed pointless carrying two lenses, uh, two sets of lenses, two bodies, two sets of batteries, two chargers. It was Mm -hmm. just a nightmare. So I need a one stop for everything. uh, And that's when I found the 1DX Mark II. Um, and that's it, when you found the uh, portrait mode on iPhone. Yeah, <laughs> and that's when I... Uh, <laughs> um, but the 1DX Mark II takes incredible videos uh, and incredible photos and mm. has battery life for, for, for days. And it, it, honestly, it's the, the dream camera for me. So Let me ask you some Spitfire questions about some stuff like what do you edit on, yeah. what your videos on? Yeah, so I edit on uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. Mm-hmm. and uh, that's that's it I hate going into After Effects <laughs> I will do everything I can to steer clear of After Effects because it yeah. just scares me um, probably not the best I should probably take time and learn it but I've to this day I've gotten away with never touching After Effects so, wow yeah, um, cool. yeah I try and do as much of, a, what, of any kind of special effects like in camera um, because yeah I think it just looks a bit more natural than kind of the manipulated version you can achieve on After Effects so yeah, do you yep. use any particular LUTs or transitions that you... Yeah, made? so I, for the last two years, I, I made a LUT two years ago and I've just kind of used that, which has been great. Uh, <laughs> I, I literally just use one color preset for all of my videos. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've started making a few more now that I've picked up a few more skills. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I just have one LUT that I use on everything um, and I do it in Premiere, color it in Premiere using Lemetri color, which is just a drag and drop... Um, effect that you can take from the effects panel. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, there's that. And uh, yeah, I, I literally just use Premiere. It's it's honestly what the most empowering software because it literally just comes down to how creative you can be. Like all the tools are there and all you can get so many plugins for it. Mm-hmm. Um, and it literally just, I love it because it's just a one-stop shop. Mm, that's awesome. Okay, so if you had to take one camera, like I'll put you in a situation. Okay. You could just choose one camera to put to take on a plane only one what would you take and you're going over to uh bali again to bali yeah one lens yeah let's just make this real like <laughs> okay um i'd probably take my 1dx with my 11 to 24 mm-hmm. um which is my run and gun setup i'll grab it yeah, yeah, yeah. It, um because most of my content goes on to instagram um, I love the width of this lens because wow, um, it gives you a lot of room to play and then you can punch in with 24. Look at um, that, look at that. Look at there's that a lot man. of glass. It's a lot of glass. 
um, I just still don't know how I haven't scratched it. It's <laughs> incredible. Um, yeah, this is this is my go-to setup um, for anything I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I lo- I love it for it as as a travel rig. It's bloody heavy, but uh, yeah, it looks good. <laughs> 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 that is heavy man like one arm would be like this is yeah like a bicycle. but to be fair the weight of the camera lends itself well to video because mm. i find the sony because it's quite small in your hand it's the shakes are amplified mm. it's a bit of weight kind of gives you something to hold on to and when you're walking kind of helps dampen out the the shake so 